What's going on Team Colossus? Just before we jump in this video, it's about that time. It's giveaway time. Let's get into it. We know you guys love the giveaway, so we're happy to hook you up. We're going to be giving away a BCAA EHP Labs, of course. We're going to be giving away a Rising Legend shirt. And what was the other? Oxy Shred. And an Oxy Shred, because we know a lot of you are cutting. All you guys got to do is comment down below. Just comment anything. Comment whatever the heck you want. <laughs> comment that Josh is ugly. I don't care. Just rip a comment. I got no prejudice. <laughs> They're going to do it. Secondly, Go to the bit link. The first link in the description will be multiple ways to enter. So you're going to have a higher chance if you do the multiple actions. I'm sure you guys have already done some of them, so you just got to click it or register you. Let's get in the gym. Boom. Alright guys, start off with deadlifts. We haven't been hitting our comp numbers super high. We're not on a kind of structured regimen. We've been doing some 3x3 three three for deads, 5x5s five five for squats and uh, bench. We just haven't as much time to kind of focus and do power power things, especially if we're not competing. Focus on the shred, building up the Zeke right now. That's priority number one. The most common thing I'm going to do are cutting here. Oh, I'm going to get weaker. i got to drop the weight. My suggestion is that you try to not buy into that mantra. Although it might be true, you can fight it as much as you can. That's what shredded strength is all about. Don't let yourself think yourself into getting weak. Keep pushing hard, push as good as you can, and keep those weights as high as you can for as long as you can while you're still being safe. Ain't gotta be right now, right now. Baby, go love me now, 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 Okay, so one of my big focuses is I really, really, really want to grow my traps. One thing I'm making sure to do within my shoulder shrugs is at the very top, go up, hold for about two seconds, and let it stretch all the way down, hold at the very bottom, and then repeat. I find myself in the past, and a lot of people when doing shrugs, is they just go through the motion, but by doing this, you're gonna be ripping up more of the muscle fibers, which will help you actually grow them. Feeling it? Uh, this is a throwback. Yeah, no. Just hitting some rear delts. Really want to grow these bad boys and just kind of bring them up, make them look really good on this shred. So, oh, oh, there we go. Is. So, I think that's all I was going to say. Just make sure to get a nice squeeze at the end. Woo, it's a burner. It's not a replica. Mustang GT in the street smoking vegetables. Drunk in the front door and make me an elephant. I really, really put serving my beverages. Shopping in heavily. Check out my etiquette. Loving my swag women. Taylor keep checking the cameras. They get sending all of my necklaces. Feeling myself really thought it was yelling. Damn it. Damn it. First a turtle, now a dog. I was out here petting a tortoise. <laughs> it likes me. <laughs> Yo, what's your uh, what's your top fitness tip? You're at the gym a lot. Anything? 
So out of respect for you guys, we decided to leave the gym and talk to you guys here so you could actually hear what we were saying. It was super loud, but our absolute favorite ab exercise right now is the uh, ab wheel. And this is something I honestly just carry in my car. I think I got it for like 10 or 15 bucks, but I think so many people get stuck in do just doing crunches like every single day. But the ab wheel is an absolutely amazing exercise. Highly recommend trying it out if you have a gym or picking it up. It really works like the stability portion. Um, and we haven't been doing a crazy amount of deadlifts and squats lately, so this is something we like to add in very frequently. So the way I like to perform it is I like to go all the way down to the bottom to the point where my chest and my uh, core area just about hits the ground, but make sure that you do not let it hit the ground because you're gonna be taking all the activation off your abs. And I go to the point at the top of the movement where I still feel my abs nice and tense and I still feel them kind of like ripping apart, uh, you could say. Um, so that's what I like to do, and I'll do about three sets of 10 to 15. Actually, no, I've been doing about five sets, so highly recommend trying that out. It is literally awesome, um, but we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type. Comment down below. Make sure you enter the giveaway that Josh talked about at the start of the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, my damage,